ഹായ് എം പ്രശാന്ത് കുമാർ പി വി അസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് പ്രൊഫസർ എം എസ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് കോളേജ് ബാംഗ്ലൂരു ഇൻ ദിസ് പീരിയോ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് മെഷീൻ ഡിപ്പെൻഡൻറ്റ് ലോഡർ ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ദർ ആർ ടു മെഷീൻ ഡിപ്പെൻഡൻറ്റ് ലോഡർ ഫീച്ചർ നീഡ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് വൺ ഈസ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ലൊക്കേഷൻ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ ഈസ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ലിങ്കി ഇൻ ബോ ദിസ് ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ആർ ഡിപ്പെൻഡ്സ് അപ്പോൺ ദ ആർക്കിടെക്ചർ ഓഫ് ദ സിസ്റ്റം വെർ വി റണ്ണിങ് ദ വെർ വി ലോഡിങ് ദ കബ്ജെക്ട് കോ സോ ഫാർ ദി ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോ വി ഹവ് സി ഇൻ എൻ അബ്സൂട്ട് ലോഡർ and there are few shortcomings of an absolute loader how the absolute loader will load an absolute object program into the memory the memory location memory location is specified by the programmer while creating object program the programmer should specify um, what is the uh, starting address and where to load this object program so it is bit difficult to understand bit difficult to specify the actual address at which at which the object program will be loaded into the memory that is one difficulty second one is for concurrent execution of uh, programs even though memory is available by executing multiple program concurrently all the programs are um, absolute object program then it is be difficult to um, get the memory location corresponding memory location and executing multiple several programs concurrently and sharing memory is also difficult third one is um, see it is difficult to use subroutine libraries and difficult to link um, one program with the pre built subroutines if you are using absolute loader so the solution for about three shortcoming is you have to use a relocatable loader and relocatable object program and if you are using relocatable object program then we can link different subroutines while loading um, time itself we can link the uh, pre built subroutines or subroutine libraries so two property we need to incorporate in the object program then automatically the difficulty that we have faced while using absolute loader we can overcome so the relocation is a machine dependent feature of loader as well as assembly the relocation is implemented by considering the underlying architecture how the system is supporting the relocation uh, if it is possible to um, support you know, the different type of Uh, addressing modes then the relocation is comparatively simple if uh, it support restricted instruction set any restricted addressing modes then relocation is it will difficult so uh, the underlying architecture is very important while implementing relocation in assembler as well as load a loader that allow for program relocations are called relocating or relative load two method we can use to specify the relocation in the object program and who will specify the assembler will while creating the relocatable object code the assembler will use this two feature either of the one feature to specify the relocations one is modification record and second one is relocation bits modification record we have discussed as a part of assembler in some other video what is a modification record for a small number of uh, relocations are required when relative or immediate addressing modes are extensively used in the program then we can opt a modification records for one relocation is required in the object program corresponding to that we need to maintain one modification record so if the relocations of the word increases then modification record also increases then automatically the object program size will increase this is one of the drawback of modification record so if you have more number of large number of locations then the best option is to use relocation bits so here we need to use one bits for one relocation if you have 100 relocations then we need to use hardly 100 bits that will mention whether we need or not if the architecture support uh, only the direct addressing mode it doesn't support relative addressing mode or immediate addressing mode such situation there are large number of relocations are required if you want to make the object code as a relocatable object code in such situation we can opt relocation bit so let us see uh, briefly this is a relocatable object code where here we have used you are considered modification record as the option to implement relocation then we know that there are three words we need to modify by loading that that is why we we need to maintain three modification record for these three words and one modification record contain many fields 
these are the fields the first uh, column we will use for m 227 is used for location location address a to 9 is used for um, length specifying length in half byte and 10th bit is for flag bit either it is plus or minus plus indicate the forward reference minus indicate the negative reference 11 to 17 is the segment name for example here segment name is copy so that's why you can see here this is the one modification record m and this is the location address and 0 5 is in half byte and plus indicate forward reference and copy is the segment name so more number of location is more number of record we need to maintain so it is the memory wastage so that is why we are opting location bits so let us see another example a sic program where sic, sup SIC support only direct addressing mode it doesn't support relative addressing mode that means pc relative or base relative and this is the main program where we have used for reading data from the input device and writing into output device in all these words we need to modify while loading that is why red color red keep it in the red box and this is the subroutine for reading data all we need to modify and this is the subroutine to writing data into output devices here most of the instructions are written by using fixed instruction format and using direct addressing mode so many instruction we need to modify while making it as a relocatable object code so in such situation we will opt relocation bits if there are many addresses need to be modified it is more efficient to use relocation bits instead of modification record there is a relocation bit for each word of the object program the relocation bits are put together into a bit mask object program each corresponding to each word one relocation bit will maintain in a text record suppose there are 20 words then we need to maintain 20 bits and this bits will tell whether that word to modify or not to modify while loading if the bit value is equal to 1 then there is a need of modification while loading if bit value is equal to 0 there is no need for modification i think there is no word or no modification required and what is the modification modification is we need to add program starting address to the, the address that we have to modify so for example this is the object code created by considering location bits and here adder record is not corresponding to any location but text record all text record we have considered for locations because here only we are writing addresses then these three digits together form the bit mask relocation bit mask and this will represent and this will tell where we need modification a one for modification zero for no modification look at here e00 that means here zero means this word no need to modify zero no modification zero no modification zero no modification in the remaining there is no word at all so that's why we put zero but one means that word we need to modify want to modify the modification is nothing where we loading this program into the memory so we will get the starting address that starting address we need to add to this address then we will get the corresponding relocatable address and properly we need to create the text record uh, if it is not aligned so relocation bit will save the memory because we are mentioning one bit for representing whether that address to be modified or not to be modified so the next machine dependent feature of the order is program linking and we will discuss in another video so thank you for watching the video